Hey everybody, I am Scott Stanton, the original Tombstone Tourist, and I am back in Hollywood Cemetery, not in California, but in Richmond, Virginia. Now, we drove in through the historic gates, we drive about 400 feet in, and you make the first right-hand turn over the bridge, and here we are for the final resting place of Guar's lead singer, Dave. Now, Dave has this beautiful monument, and I have three different GPS's, uh, two different locations. Uh, I, I was told to park down here, so I can't find it, but I do know an expert. Bob, can you join me for a second? Now everybody, this is Bob Olson. He is the most fantastic tour guide. And take a look here at the camera. That's Karen, <laughs> behind, just pay attention to her. I, I don't know if I'd be the most fantastic but uh top three in hollywood there you go <laughs> now before we talk about dave and guar and all the fabulous stuff the band has brought us um you have worked here on and off um as a volunteer as an actual work person right in the cemetery and now you do tours is that correct i do my own walking tours uh here in hollywood I also set myself up uh, about three years ago as a 1099 contract employee. So I, I do tours for three other companies. One, okay. one, of, them, one of them being a company called RVA uh, on Wheels. Because uh, during COVID, a lot of the local tour companies joined together to survive because nobody was doing anything during COVID. And so a lot of times RVA, it's a little uh, oversized Jeep or golf cart. And, but for mine, I do walking tours. I do nursing home tours. Uh, basically my card says, I hunt dead people. <laughs> okay, so let me ask you about Hollywood Cemetery. First of all, it's my understanding that Hollywood Cemetery was named by the founders because they love the old movies of Hollywood, California. Is that correct? Uh, no. No? Okay. It's named Hollywood because of the holly trees. Ah. It so was originally Hollywood's cemetery, the, hyphenated. Ah, And okay. then eventually it just became Hollywood. Okay, so I got that wrong. See, I get all my information from the internet. So what I understand... That's uh, all right, you're a tourist. <laughs> so, Dave Key is the only famous person here, isn't that correct? Uh, no. No? There's, there's... This is the only cemetery in the United States that has three presidents. Two American, one Confederate. Awesome. So, Tyler and Monroe, the American presidents, and Jefferson Davis, the Confederate president. And there are over 18,000 Confederate soldiers buried here. Wow. We actually, you don't have to go to Egypt to see a pyramid. <laughs> we have a 90 foot pyramid here in Hollywood Cemetery. And what, what, what do you get? Maybe two dozen tourists a day that walk through here? I mean, it's uh, nobody there, 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 This is the second most visited yeah. cemetery in the United States. That is awesome. Only Arlington is visited more than Hollywood. People come for the artwork. They come for the presidents. The, uh, this is a very safe, cemetery. Women walk dogs in here. Um, university students, Virginia Commonwealth University is only four blocks from here. They're in here walking. This morning you missed Galahad. Galahad is the black cat oh, that okay. lives in Oregon Hill outside the cemetery. He was he down, made an appearance. He was down here with his grandparents because his owners are out of town. Oh that's hilarious. So I saw him driving the road down the road and I said that's Galahad. And they said, how'd you know? I said, I know everybody in Hollywood. Oh my gosh. So what is the number one question you get when you give a tour? How many people are buried here? And how many do you see? All of them. There you go. <laughs> okay. So I guess we should probably go over to my car now and we can drive over to uh, Dave's grave because I don't see him anywhere around here. Up the hill. Right behind you. Where? Where? Show me. See where that blo broken obelisk is? I see it. To the left, that ledger stone, that flat stone. Oh. That's his grave, but he's not buried there. 
That's a cenotaph, in other words. It's a cenotaph. Okay. So let's take a walk and let's go on up. All right. Okay, so here we are. We're at the final resting place of Dave Baraki. He is in section C, and as we said, it's 400 feet in. You make a right, you make a go over the bridge, you make another right, park in the parking lot, and you walk right up from the Confederate Avenue sign, and uh, it's about 150 feet, and it's next to the broken monument. Now, Dave Baraki is best known as a founding member uh, musician, lead uh, uh, singer, he was the primary singer, uh, lyricist, and he was a visionary. He, if you've ever seen Guar, and he was the lead singer of Guar, think of Kiss meets Alice Cooper meets Leatherface from Texas Chainsaw Massacre, and that is your baseline, <laughs> triple that, and these guys are freaking insane. But if you take away all the costumes, they are fantastic musicians, so don't let that fool you for a minute. They have 13 studio albums, two live albums. But sadly, Dave, who was one of the founding members, um, passed away of a heroin overdose uh, in 2014. And uh, shortly after, they gave him a Viking funeral. And on the internet, it says, and I'm sure this is true, they put his ashes along with his character, uh, um, uh, what's this character's name again? Odorous. Odorous Urungus. Odorous Urungus. And he put the costume and his ashes and they gave him a Viking funeral on a local lake. Uh, not exactly. Not exactly? No. Where are his remains today? He's in an urn in sitting an urn. on his mother's mantle. No, his mother passed away. It's his, his father. father's mantle. There he goes, his father's mantle. So. Um, so they've been having arguments about who owns the ashes. But interestingly enough, this was not put up by the family. No, the band bought this plot. And originally, they wanted a full-size statue of him <laughs> in his costume. And because it would have been the first thing that you saw when you came around the corner, Hollywood said, no, that ain't happening. No, we'll give you the flat one. So this ended up being the compromise. Okay. Um, Karen, can you get a, a close-up of the... Uh... Because this is still him in his costume. So this is what they wanted the full size to be. And that picture, why are his eyes closed? Because that picture is actually a picture of him taken in his coffin. Oh my gosh. That's etched into the stone. Oh, that is insane. That is insane. And would you say this is, uh, given all the tokens and tchotchkes, is this one of the most visited graves? Uh, Probably one of the, uh, other than the presidents, this is one of the most visited graves. This and around the corner of the black dog. but. I'll be doing tours and I'll be waiting for the people to show up and I'll be down on the corner and I see these people get out of the car and they're looking at their phone and they're looking up the hill and they've got this kind of glazed look on their face. And like I, got, I had, like yeah. I had down there. And I said, looking for Dave? Yeah. <laughs> so then I point him up the hill. <laughs> awesome. This has been great. Thank you for joining me, Bob. Um, if you were to recommend a place to get a drink, is there a bar that, that would cater to a Guar fan? You have the Guar bar. Get out. Yeah.
Oh wait, I read about this. We're actually going tonight. Um, it's it's uh, Mike Dirks, I believe it is. Uh, the, he's the rhythm guitar player for uh, uh, Guar and um, uh, local restauranteur. And I heard it. It is absolutely off the charts fantastic. And they cater to everybody. It doesn't matter if you're wearing a business suit, uh, leathers, or really loud Hawaiian shirts. Yeah. They welcome all people. That's They'll even they... let you in. <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> well, thank you for joining us. Um, I am Scott Stanton, the original Tombstone Tourist. Come visit me for all Guar material uh, at thetombstonetourist.com. And Bob, if somebody wants to take a tour with you here, wh where can they find you? They can find me either on R RVA Wheels, or they can just uh, look me up on the internet. So Bob Olson and Hollywood, Hollywood Cemetery, Cemetery Tours. Tours. And they'll take you right to it. Yep. Thank you very much. We're out of here. Thank you very much. Yeah, they'll even let you in. <laughs>